Virgo. Hello Virgo, Happy New Year 2015. This is Karen Lestrup and I am your astrologer on YouTube and we're looking at your forecast here for January. Now we have a huge shift and I want to talk about that first and foremost before we go through all the aspects and the transits and this is the change of signs from Scorpio into Sagittarius with Saturn. Okay, so you're leaving behind now a two and a half year cycle where Saturn has been moving through your third house for communication. So some of you felt probably and maybe initially that there was a little bit of a limitation, some challenges here with communication uh, until you started mastering it, and that's the key word, of Saturn, where we mature to the point of mastering. And for you, that would be the third house. So you're coming out of this feeling more empowered, strengthened in the way that you relate to other people, uh, perhaps maybe even your careers where you're, uh, more so, should I say, now at a place where you could uh, even teach. Third house is a teaching area. So some of you might have uh, been giving more presentations and so forth and honing in on those skills. And you're bringing that gift with you now, uh, feeling that you're more empowered as the shift is moving into the area of the fourth house. This has to do with home, family, foundation. Okay, so Saturn now is going to be focusing on this area to see how can you power it up? How can you change things so your, your home and family life will be more secured? Um, looking at, for example, more responsibility coming in. Some of you might be buying property, upgrading, or taking on more responsibility for parents because Saturn also rules that. So there could be a little bit more responsibilities in these areas period where you're going to feel responsibilities upon you but when we work with Saturn we rise to the occasion we become more of who and what we are and uh, allow to show both ourselves and the universe how we can live up to those measures and knowing that we have the support that we need Saturn will always support us if we work along with him we also have the, the uh, full moon here, January 4th, that's going to illuminate the area here for you in the 11th house, which has to do with your hopes and dreams. Uh, so you might be center stage there amongst your friends uh, or in some kind of organization perhaps. But it's a wonderful day for you here January 4th, as will be the new moon. And the new moon is crowded here with uh, uh, five other planets in your fifth house in Capricorn. And the fifth house has to do with love and relationships, self-expression, creativity, your artistic skills, and it's also the area of children. So here come January 20th, um, the new moon is when we put down our intentions. This would be the area to do so. Uh, you are lively surrounded here by the sun, Pluto, Mercury, and Venus. And so uh, your intention should all be about, this is what I want more of, because it's the fun house. The fifth house is always uh, where we uh, can express ourselves in, in uh, areas that pertain more to kind of leisures and hobbies and when we have our off time. So you're going to do a lot of that here in January. You're absolutely going to love this month. Um, and for those of you in a relationship, you're going to feel that interaction. Uh, that chemistry really strong and aligned. And for those of you here, Virgo, that are single, well, you might just come across somebody new in your life at this time. So the new moon, January 20th, put down your intentions because it's going to be a full year before you get the chance to really focus and hone in on this. So let's start with at the top of the month, what you can expect, because there is an opposition between your drive, your goals, your desire, and then that of Jupiter asking you, do you really want what you desire right now? Or do you want to look a little bit at the other side of the coin? 
uh, Jupiter wants to expand, right? And, and Mars wants to act, and but but they're opposing one another. And for you, this is between your sixth house of day-to-day -day routines, uh, maybe the way you eat, your diets, your schedule could be. So health, fitness, all those things that need to be organized. Mars is heading out here, and then Jupiter is saying, well, I just really need to rest up a little bit. I need to kind of pull back Jupiter currently being in your 12th house. Uh, and so, it's and it's been there for a while, so you've had some time to pull within, which is good. But Jupiter is also retrograde right now, and has been since that of summer night, and will be through that of April of next year, April 9th. Um, so, you know, is it the best time to plunge into a new direction while you're still, I won't say healing, it's not like you need healing, but you need to rest up. It, it's been, you're, you're closing down on that Jupiter 12 year cycle. So, and Mars is so gun ho to get going now, but you're not fully out in that full new cycle before April. So you might want to rest up a little bit more and if you can't or won't, well, then it's better by the end of the month rather than the beginning of the month. And I'll tell you why as we look at the transits coming up. And actually, there is no train you need to catch. Mars's message to you is that I have to hurry or else I'll lose my chance. And that's typical for Mars. It's fire. It burns <laughs> and combusts. Um, but Jupiter is actually saying reconsider and just rethink something because there's something else coming in and which will just over this next coming week. January 4th, you will find that um, the things that you treasure and value, those Venetian qualities, love and harmony, but also money and, and finances, well, here Saturn's going to give you a gift on this day uh, for good work done here earlier. Okay, and it's that, that first gift that Saturn's going to give you in this new sign. Uh, that will give you a little bit more grounding uh, to, to determine your actions and your choices on. Plus, on the 13th, that whole week between the 4th and the 13th, well, then Venus is going to come in with a second thing for you, and that's from Uranus. Now, Uranus is that planet of surprise, the unexpected. Um, there's... Um, definitely a sense of liberation, renewal, freedom in this. So that along with Saturn, well now you know a little bit more where you want to take that action with Mars, okay? Plus that Mars now is changing signs there on, um, on the 12th and moving out of Aquarius, out of that day-to-day -day routine schedule into the seventh house of romance, uh, committed relationships, one-on-one -on -one partnerships and in the sign of Pisces well then you're going to feel more spiritually so connected to these choices okay that's why it's best to wait at least uh, here out into the month before you you change uh, directions but you can spend time becoming aware and looking at matters because there is a little test a little roadblock not necessarily a delay but a roadblock with that very Mars uh, on the 15th. Um, it, it's squaring off on Saturn, and so Saturn is going to stop you at the gate and say, okay, so what do you want to do with this now? All right, and Saturn remembers the fourth house of home and family, or parents, um, or real estate. And this square here is between uh, you and your partner and how you're going to deal with more loaded responsibilities in the home. So you want to make sure you know what those are uh, before you run off taking on new obligations uh, or new challenges because this is going to outline for you what is to come. And the 19th, where Mars was opposed to uh, Jupiter, well now Venus is also opposed to Jupiter. So it's still the same message. Don't be too quick to move ahead. Uh, you will know by the end of the month, around the 30th, uh, you will have more insights and uh, the information that's needed. So you're still going to have to look uh, before you act here this month. But behind that, we have so much 
working with you and for you, and especially in that uh, in the area of relationships, you'll see how this is here uh, for you and where you're expressing yourself, your needs to this partner. If you're a single, you might attract somebody this month, but it could also just be more focused here now with family, your children uh, especially, and what they're doing and uh, being supportive of them. And they might just come and be very helpful to you in those things that are taking now place within the family front and the uh, extra responsibilities coming in. We do have Mercury turning retrograde Virgo here this month for us for its uh, annual uh, three and a half week journey here early in the year. It's going to be here between January 22nd to that of February 12th. So we know that signing anything is not the best thing to do um, uh, under a retrograde because it rules documents and papers and whatnot. Uh, any kind of agreements, they might turn around and become a little confused. So if you can wait to after 20, uh, uh, February 12th, it will behoove you. And um, if, if you're thinking of buying any appliances, you know, I would wait with that too because sometimes we can buy a new piece of equipment and then it just turns out to be, you know, funky and you don't have to return it. Uh, back. So any big buys should just be set off a little bit. Um, and that will be for you in the area here of uh, the 6th house. So 6th uh, house and then pendling back into that 5th house for children, self-expression, creativity. So you're going to come to feel that uh, between these areas, yes, it is all about going back, picking up bits and pieces of information. Um, that's going to clear things out for you. So once you get into mid-February, you're going to feel that those things are aligned, taken care of so that you can actually find your wings and fly again with it. So then we have by the 20th, uh, we have uh, Mars there uh, conjuncting doing the dance with Neptune. That's opening a door. You're knowing a little bit more now what you have and hold what can be supportive of you. And then you have Venus on the 21st coming into um, Pisces. And so that again is partnership coming in with love and support and uh, mutual understanding and balancing together. And on the 23rd, well, now you have it. So, you know, now it's coming together. All the uncertainties on these other key dates up to this point now it's kind of locked in. You know where you stand. You know what your uh, decision is going to be, what your responsibilities will be. So you're feeling that this is liberating you because now you can really start taking action. Uh, 23rd, on the 28th, there's some communication, opening up, liberating, collaborating uh, with you. And the collaboration is also some financial help, support that you can be getting. Uh, and uh, so this is going to allow you now to what you wanted to do January 1st, actually now kick into action. That opposition was for a reason. And so January 30th, here we go. New beginnings, new start, new energetic cycle. Uh, I see you being very aligned with this transformational energy. It's like claiming your own power, uh, being happy for it and being back in that driver's seat. So you've had some really good dates throughout this month that, that's supporting it. And then you have a couple of stop dates where it's like stop, think before you act. And then here it all comes together. So I'm liking to see what that is going to do for you because it's definitely, you know, opening up for a new journey. Um, yeah, so I feel that is what we have now, but I would like to say listen to your partner's chart for this month because as you're changing uh, the whole area of your responsibilities now for the next two years with Saturn, you would want to know what his or her area is going to be. Um, sometimes we don't see those changes come overnight. You'll just see that something is dissipating, you know, as something new is forming. It's better to know what it is so you can be right there, be supportive to your partner as you hope he or she will be for you as your life too now is changing a page in your own book of life. 
So by doing that, I think that's going to put things in the right place for you, as it will if you listen to your moon and your rising sign as well. And I'll see you next month, February, by now.